Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this video we'll be talking about my visa experience. So I got my visa approved and I will be going to the US. So yeah, like it is exciting. So uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, what is my visa experience, what questions was I asked, uh, how does this process work, uh, what documents you have to carry uh, to the visa interview. So let us start. So first let us talk about uh, how the how does this process work. Uh, so basically I have to go to the US Embassy and uh, I live in New, New Delhi so I have to go to the US Embassy and it is one hour away. So there are a lot of travel options you can take for example Ola and Uber you can take and that is the best option trust me because you won't be getting a space there for parking your cars or bicycles or in any other vehicle which you want to travel in uh, because there will be a lot of parents lot of students there so I advise you to take a taxi here. Uh, there and not like travel by your own uh, like do not travel by your own if your parent or someone your friend is going with you uh, he or she can travel and uh, they can park outside because the guards will not allow you to uh, park near the US Embassy you have to park at a separate like a uh, one kilometer distance uh, from the US Embassy so always travel in a taxi or with someone um, who is close to you so now let us talk about what happens exactly. So basically you are made to stand in a line, you uh, give them your passport and they check that if there, is if there is a sticker or not and then you're directed into a security check number two uh, where all of your all of your like uh, bells, uh, no Bluetooth, Bluetooth devices will be checked here, your phone will be checked, not like a phone will be checked, like uh, they'll be checking that if you have any other electronic uh, with you and uh, you cannot take phone inside, you have to uh, like deposit your mobile phone outside the US Embassy and they charge around 50 rupees for that so I uh, traveled with my parents so I do not have to uh, like uh, deposit my phone into the uh, like department there outside the US Embassy and I do not think it is safe there because uh, during this COVID time you should not do this because uh, it is not safe to do so and uh, then again you are uh, like directed to another open area and uh, there are five to six lines there you have to sit in a line they will be telling you which line to sit in and then they'll be uh, sending you inside line by line for example I was made to stand or sit in the first row and they were going row by row for example six then fifth then fourth then the first row and you will be directed to another the building uh, which is uh, where your interview will be taking place so how does it work uh, when you go inside there is a specific counter they will be checking your ds-160 form your uh, i-20 as well as your appointment confirmation and then you will be direct to uh, directed to another counter uh, there and they, basically there will be seats there and a woman uh, like in my case a woman told me to uh, sit at the end and then she was giving instructions to students who were coming like you go to counter number 16 you go to counter number 8 you're 7 you're 3 and you just have to go to the counter and wait for your turn so this is where the luck comes in because uh, my counter was counter number 8 and uh, he basically did not ask uh, like that much of uh, that much of questions which the uh, like visa interview uh, like persons asked and in my left counter he was asking a lot of questions so I was very scared for it and uh, let me share you my experience how exactly it happened so basically I went in and I said that hey good morning sir and he was like hey good morning please pass me your I-20 and DS-160 document and I passed him my I-20 and DS-160 and then he he checked like hey UCI so yeah I was uh, like I was happy that he knew UCI there and uh, then he said that why UCI so he asked me the first question why UCI so I gave him, I gave him the answer that uh, I am interested in the curriculum I want to study under this professor these type of answers then he specifically asked why data science then I told him that I have been in the data science fields in the past two years I had done various internships as well as my interest lies in data science I want to study under this professor and then he like went into the module section for example which modules are you uh, talking about I told him that I would be studying machine learning there then he asked me what is machine learning uh, what exactly you will be studying there so I told, told him that I will be studying uh, supervised learning as well as unsupervised learning uh, machine learning models there and uh, then basically I went to Berkeley summer school so when he was checking my passport there he asked me did you graduate from Berkeley so I told him no I did not graduate then he was a bit confused and at this moment I was a bit skeptical that I like my visa might get rejected and uh, 
I had to specifically tell him that hey, I attended Berkeley Summer School because my visa was valid till 2026, and he was confused that if I already have a valid visa, how am I going to UCI? So that is why uh, that is when I told him that I went to Berkeley Summer School uh, in 2019 from uh, June to August, and then he was like, oh, okay, this makes sense, and then he just cut out the Berkeley visa, and uh, uh, yeah, then he typed for 20 seconds, and this is a phase where each and every student like. Heart attacks are that they are reject 